The following program may contain subject matter and language suitable for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the finale episode of season three of The Meltdown. I'm Norm. I'm Jeff. A little delayed there. And <laughs> he's Lou. I'm Lou. All right, so let's begin the way we always do with some Meltdown fun facts. Yay. One word that is often uh, not used properly is the word tarmac. You hear that in the news, you know, if a plane is delayed on the tarmac. Mm -hmm. Um, well, actually, there's no such a term in terms of uh, uh, airline parlance, if you will. And, is tarmac yeah. not a French-Canadian swear? <laughs> tarmac! <laughs> You're right. It's a French-Canadian <laughs> slur or swear word. It's not actually that was pretty good. an airplane term or airport term. I made me laugh. <laughs> Yay! You know, oh, poor Jeff. Wait, how is he <laughs> trying like, to get this No, out. Jeff, I want to know for real, though. How is it used incorrectly? So what is tarmac? What is actually is tarmac? Well, Lou, here we go. All there right. are three basic areas of the air airport outside of the airport itself the actual airport physical building you have runways it's pretty obvious what runways are yeah. airplanes take off and land on runways you okay. have the taxiways which of course are the quote-unquote roads that airplanes use to to get to the runways yeah. okay. now the part where the plane is parked at the gate that is actually the apron it is yes. not a tarmac it is also referred to as a ramp in canada and the united states but the the widely accepted term is apron yeah. there's actually no such thing as a tarmac is it also do they also call it the skirt because i've heard that term as well uh yeah actually that's more of a 60s thing no i'm just kidding <laughs> mini skirt uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so i i realized that uh you haven't answered my question what's uh what is the tarmac then well it really actually okay this is actually from... Other diagrams? From, uh, well, just small graphics. Okay. Yeah, uh, right Aerosavvy.com. And they talk about runways, taxiways, and the apron. Now, tarmac, short for tarmacadam, is a road surface material patented in 1901 in the UK. It is an improvement on the surface developed in the 1820s by John Luden or Loudon Macadam. It's essentially crushed rock mixed with cement then sealed with tar. By today's standards, it's a very crude surface and could never handle a heavy aircraft. Tarmac has not been used as an airport surface material for decades. Okay, so, so it's actually it's the material. Tarmac. It's not. It's yeah. not what oh, the material built. Yeah, so exactly. the apron could be built out of tarmac, is what you're saying. It could be, yeah. but it's not. You know yeah. what I'm upset about here is that there's all this paving going on, and I didn't get the contract. I well, feel very upset. You know. Well, maybe you got a bit higher. Um, actually, uh, we didn't touch on these two words, and I don't know why, because it's obvious, assume and presume. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you know, and there's a, just a very subtle difference between assume and presume. And by the way, if you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> I had to throw that in. Yeah. Um, presume is like joke. it will, li it likely will happen. You're not completely sure, but it's, it's, it's pretty evident that it's likely it will happen. Like, it's likely that I'll get cut off in the next three seconds. So, so assume, assume is, is that. Is yes, I presume that Lou or Norm <laughs> will cut me off. That. Yeah, well, yeah, because that's there. perfect. You got to listen when you're yeah. acting. You got to use the old ear balls. Exactly. That's and not then... the thing. Ear balls. <laughs> ear balls. <laughs> yeah. They're two great words. Like, I, because I, I was wondering, how come I don't know what the difference is? And I'm like, it's well, sort of not obvious. Assumption, isn't assumption based on less fact or no exactly. fact? Yeah, that's what and it feels assumption like. Assumption is based on, on some fact. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So here is a compilation of some of Lou's funniest bits on a Meltdown Minute with Lou. I love Meltdown Minutes with Lou. So here's what I hate about redundancy. First of all, the word done is in the word redundancy. That should be a tip-off at the best of times. If you get a headache in my family, this is what my mom does. She takes out a little plate, she fills it with water, few drops of olive oil and then she divines from those drops who gave you a headache because it's science so what we're gonna talk about now is this what's wrong we used to watch the Waltons and be like look at these lucky fucks poor is my point whining complaining 
right? I get it, man. I'm Italian. We do a lot of that. We're really good at it. I understand that there are 10 commandments depending on which religion you follow and whichever one you follow, good for you. As far as I'm concerned, we need one. And that is, don't be a dick. So what I'd like to talk about to you is essentially the... Okay. I can assure you that when they were building the pyramids, right? Tut or whoever, he's really the only famous Egyptian I know, was like, when's it gonna be done? And the guys building it, who were probably Italian, were like, I'm gonna say a week. What we're gonna talk about now is, just, okay. First of all, how lazy are we that we don't have the time to say Kentucky Fried Chicken? How busy are you? Necessity is the mother of invention. That's what they say. What they don't say is that procrastination is the step cousin of invention. If it wasn't for change, we'd still be roiling around in a primordial soup, trying to develop legs, two eyes, and a tail. Well, maybe not the tail, although that's that's a thing apparently as well. Now it's time for some meltdown, stupid stupidness. Yay! <laughs> Last episode on The Meltdown, we looked at inventions. We told you what the 10 most uh, important inventions in the world were. Is the ShamWow still in there? are. The ShamWow is not in there. Let me tell you something about the ShamWow. <laughs> All right, go right ahead. I can read. Here's what I love. Later. They tell you in the name that it's a fucking fake. I love that. What's this called? ShamWow. What's the wow for? If it works, seriously, we'd be surprised. Like... The bullshit in it. What? <laughs> just the sham wow. <laughs> Fuck. We have 11 of these. I'd like to get to them Sorry. <laughs> By 11 p.m. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, one, one every 30 seconds. Okay, so uh, here's a list. 11 inventions that are completely I'm ready. pointless. Number one, yeah. the car exhaust grill. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. I gotta get my head around this. So this is actually a grill yeah. in the shape... <laughs> Of a car exhaust. Because who hasn't been... This fits on your car exhaust. This actually goes on the car. Yeah. It even shows you where the smoke path is. <laughs> Why do you need to know that? <laughs> but you can cook while you're driving. Here's what I love about this. <laughs> so many different things. But I'll try to whittle it down. <laughs> they thought it was important to go... Well, they're going to want to know which path the smoke takes. That's hilarious to me. Because I've never asked that about anything. Yeah. Also... I love that they went with the hamburger. <laughs> well, yeah, but look at it. It's a ground grill. Hamburger is huge. It, so how, is that a, either a giant hamburger or a tiny grill? What I don't know. I, I'm not sure. It's, uh, this this would be on the back of one's car. It's and, a Fred Flintstone hamburger. <laughs> it is a Fred Flintstone hamburger, dude. Also, you're cooking it with your car, you fucking loser. <laughs> that way you don't have to go to the drive-thru. Jesus, go to Game Tire, buy a grill. They're like 60 bucks. <laughs> My point exactly. who's, who's sitting around? <laughs> who, who would, you know what? I'm enjoying our drive to Florida. You know what would be better? If I could smell meat cooking as we're driving. Why has no one invented that? Oh, look. What's it actually called? It's, it's cooking it's called, while driving. It's Come on! Car exhaust grill. God damn it. How busy are you that you can't pull over? But look, saving energy and time. <laughs> no, no coal, wood, or other... <laughs> <laughs> Saving energy, no coal, and time. wood, or other fuels are needed in travel. Wow. <laughs> Having some fun. <laughs> Honey, uh, can you get the shish kebabs out of the marinade? i got to be at work in ten minutes. <laughs> Cook those up on the way to work. Imagine getting pulled over. <laughs> what I do, I was there. I didn't get burgers ready. <laughs> it smells burnt. It smelled burnt for the last half mile. I was going to give you a ticket, but we give me a hamburger and forget about it. Here's some mustard, kid. <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't speeding or anything, but... I just want to clarify, am I having a stroke? Because I smell hamburger. I can swear. Okay. Uh, all right. Are they all like this? Oh, they're, 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 they're pretty wacky. Right? I know, I know. So the, right. next, the next one that we have God damn. Uh, is a great invention, <laughs> I think. Uh, Air-conditioned shoes. Uh, and I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> if anyone is watching this right now, oh, I like and that. And sitting if, around, if and they're like, I mean, all the people that are watching, yeah, right all now. of you, pass it along. And they're like, you know, it'd be really good. I'm going to invent. Okay, first of all, oh, there's so much wrong with this. Why does he look that happy? That's the first thing. Second of all, why are there jets shooting out of his shoe? What are you, Iron Man? I don't understand. Third of all, why? Just why? Why? 
I know. Look at it. even his this thing in his pocket doesn't match his tie. <laughs> well, you know, that's true. That's true. You know what? You, you know what air conditioned shoes were called in my day? Sandals. <laughs> Sandals. Exactly. That's what they were called. Yeah. See, I couldn't tell if those were. Is, is that supposed to be? Are those actual fans I, or I, just I, holes? They might be flashlights. You can't tell. <laughs> you can't. You can't. They're tell. air conditioned and they're flashlights. I just am, like I'm, if your meat gets caught in your grill. <laughs> I mean, oh your car God. grill. You all up in your right? grill. Yeah. But you here's the thing. Your... Based on how happy he looks, yeah. I'd be curious to see the whole photo just to see where the other hand is. <laughs> you well, see what I mean? We're not going to show well, you that photo. Maybe he's wearing it. the other shoe, if you say what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. He's like, yeah, this is pretty chilly. Okay. Yeah, moving on. Another, wow, that's weird. Another <laughs> shoe-related product. But this one, this uh, one is great. A great fashion accessory. Just getting angry now. The shoe umbrella. <laughs> I'm gonna do this for everyone. I'm gonna get upset at each one. <laughs> People actually put time and effort into making this. No, that somebody sat at the table and was like, you know what the world needs? Tiny umbrellas. You mean for drinks? No, no, no. <laughs> for your shoes. On your shoe, so they don't get wet. Exactly. <laughs> but just the fronts, because it's okay if the back of your shoes get wet. <laughs> Because we all know the material they use in the back is much sturdier than the stuff in the front. Holy crap. Some people like dry toes but oh, wet heels. I don't. They like that combination. I... Which, by the way, that was a great Steve McQueen movie. My point is. <laughs> might have been. Might have been. Uh, so, I. Yeah. I love that there are designs on the umbrellas, yeah. right? Because you don't want to look unfashionable, yeah. right? You don't want to look like more of a lunatic <laughs> than. <laughs> yeah, and the handy thing is, if you're on a ledge somewhere, <laughs> and you it'll fall, ease, ease your fall, like Mary Poppins <laughs> or the coyote. Right. Actually, the shoes will float, but you'll fall like a rock. <laughs> you'll be head first. Yeah. Your feet will be up in the yeah. air. I just now, realized there's no straps on the shoes. There's so. a coyote gag right there. That's yeah. right. That's right. Somewhere, Wiley Coyote is like loser. <laughs> okay. Wow. Hey, speaking of Wiley Coyote, who's an animal. Like dogs or cats, a lot of us have. I'm well, trying to segue here. Sorry. A lot of us have. Feel a lot of us need have. to clarify yeah. the 80-year-old yeah. cartoon guy. Yeah. No one's ever heard of him, Norm. <laughs> Tell him who he is. Because <laughs> I'm trying to segue. A lot of us have I'm pets. This have you ever had any pets, <laughs> Lewis? Have I? Yeah. yeah. Dogs, cats, anything? Sure. Okay. I had a llama. All right. Have you ever had a goldfish? <laughs> I had a civet. For a while, yeah, yeah, well, uh, Honda Civic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so here's dumb some, and so funny. Here's something for uh, uh, goldfish uh, owners who right. want to give their fish some exercise: mm -hmm. the goldfish <laughs> walker, <laughs> which I personally here's the thing. think is a lot of work. <laughs> goldfish have a memory of thirty seconds. If it's not going to remember you took it for a walk. <laughs> So, what's the point? Secondly, how lonely are you? <laughs> You're not doing this for the fish. I There's no way you look at the goldfish and you go, he's looking a little peaked. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, some sunshine yeah. outside. And look at the like look at the complexity of it. I mean, could you just not take a bucket and some rope and save yourself eighty bucks? Could you not? I think you put the money. And I bet you, knew, if you pan back and saw the expression on their face, they'd be doing this. Right? He's the same happy guy. Like, yeah, just it's right. It's the guy with the shoes. It's the same dude, man. And also, why is the goldfish so big? I don't know. I think. I mean, I look at that. It's like to me, getting that out of the house would be. Like an hour's work. Oh my god! I didn't think about that. You need, you need like down a... the stairs without spilling. Oh, yeah. Without spilling you're gonna need a ramp. No, you're gonna need a ramp. You're gonna need I a mean, ramp for, for God's sure. sake! You know, every every sidewalk, the damn thing's gonna be gone. Well, and the difficulty is that if the goldfish dies, it's not like you can just go to a pet store and buy another ten. Actually, you could just bring that for like a nickel. Well, you can go and get them and just bring that to the pet store with you and just transport them home. So oh. they're not in that little bag. Well, yeah, it's not going in the car. That I can tell you. <laughs> oh no, you're walking everywhere. Right? I like a ramp for my van. Oh, you know, how come? Now, imagine <laughs> if I had... I'm just looking at the picture now. Imagine if I would introduced this as a goldfish slingshot. Would you have <laughs> said anything different Let me tell you about something. If that, How to get Fido on the moon? If this was, in fact, a prototype for a goldfish catapult, yeah. this guy would have all my money. Yeah. <laughs> just the ability to shoot goldfish at any given time. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's like beer pong. But How have I lived this longer than that is my Universal <laughs> level. Okay, our next one is mm -hmm. uh, something that... Uh, this is a product wow. that was created... Uh, for people to pass the time, sure, sure. and of course, it's toilet golf. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it is touted as one of the worst inventions. Uh, okay, you know, this is kind of an overarching theme for all of these. I don't understand 
this need to multitask at times when you really shouldn't be multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, if you're that bored, first of all, if you're in the toilet long enough to play 18 holes, you got a much larger problem, okay? You need to call a doctor today because, honey, are you almost done? Hole 16! Just dropped an eagle. <laughs> what, what are you referring to, honey? I'd like to know. Oh, my God. Are you calling your poops eagles? Is that what you mean? There's too much room for misunderstandings. And I love that he's got a golf magazine. So he's looking at the mag to go what the best stroke is. This is what Jeff was saying. He's really studying up on his game. Like, uh, wait This is all time. stuff that could have been done not on the toilet. And he's also, I, know, I didn't notice this from last week, he's got the please do not disturb hotel thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he, he wants to be discovered. He wants to be discovered. Yeah, you know what this is, dude? This you want to join me for the 18th and we'll grab some lunch? This photo is a cry for help. This yeah, guy right now would pop it from a box of bram. A box of Brain? Yeah, Broxabrain, that's right. Broxabrain. <laughs> My favorite dinosaur, Broxabrain. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, we said all oh, it just makes say... me angry. Oh. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> but is you this know... not an indication that we're done as a society? <laughs> but you is know... this not... Like, if hey, aliens please... came to the planet and they saw this, they'd go, seriously? I hate yeah. to say this, but, you know, uh, I think about P.T. Barnum when he basically said there's a sucker born every minute. He knew that out there in society... There were people willing to just readily part with their money to see something, anything un uncommon, unusual, whatever. He knew that. He capitalized on he, that. And if you were, imagine if you had this crazy idea, like, oh, fuck, I should invent that. And, 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 and it sells and people buy it. If they're, if they're stupid enough to buy this. Sure. I, I understand that argument. I, okay. But I, I'm, I'm not one to ever, you know, listen, I, I bought my fair share. I'm a comic book guy. You know, I collect action yeah, figures. Yeah, like, yeah. I buy a lot of tchotchkes if you want to. Clarified is that, and I'm you know I'm just as amazed when I see a tiny pencil. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. What do you need that for? I don't know. In case a mini putt game breaks out, <laughs> I have a tiny in pencil. Your bathroom. On me. So here's the thing. I yeah. don't. To me, it's it's an indication that a we have too much time and we have too much money. Also, an indication that I can't get a job, but toilet golf guy <laughs> is making money. You know what the, one of the pain in the asses of camping is, right? When you're all nestled in your sleeping bag and suddenly you gotta you gotta go for a pee, right? Okay. Well, this product will solve no. that. No, no! Yeah, because this is the oh, walking sleeping me. bag. <laughs> fuck me. Here's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought it was gonna be a sleeping bag with a catheter, which would have been equally stupid. So, if... Wow, I don't, I don't even know where to... I feel like I'm looking at a thin barb of papa, so that's the first thing. I just, <laughs> you gotta be comfortable with looking like an asshole, <laughs> right? And I love that he's he's nestled head to toe, no shoes, because that's where he draws the line, <laughs> right there. Shoes would make me look dumb. <laughs> he says, "Holy Christ!" So how's he pee though? Down his leg? Wait, How do those work? You still have to. How's he gonna unzip himself with those sleeves? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it just... Ah, it's making me so mad! Maybe he's running to the, for help so that he realizes now he does have to pee. Here's the thing. The <laughs> zipper's on help. the outside. Yeah. So if your arms are tucked <laughs> inside the bag... Yeah, but yeah, you can reach your dinky, yeah. but you can't unzip yourself. No, but it's a walking sleeping bag. That's the sewing <laughs> Which is fine if you're filming Day of the Truth. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but you're not. So here's the thing. I don't... There's so many... I don't understand. Okay. Is there a, All right. How does he... It doesn't work, people. Oh my god. God, it's making me mad. And he looks so happy, doesn't he? <laughs> just going to take a pee. <laughs> Oops, I just did. <laughs> no, no. You want me to zip you there, Paul? No, I'm good. Okay, so today privacy is a huge concern. God almighty. Uh, and this next product, <laughs> this next product answers the uh, privacy issue or at least suggests a way we can all uh, keep things to ourselves, and that's with the privacy scarf. <laughs> Which, if you can imagine, sitting by the way, in the worst park. superpower ever. <laughs> What's your power? I project wool from my eyes. Can you, really? Can, <laughs> can you imagine an entire office floor? Here's what I understand. With people. Why is it three feet long? <laughs> Why do you need to be that Why far? Why are you your eyes too close to the screen? And is it made of felt? 
Well, I, I don't know. That's not a breathable material. <laughs> I don't know why anybody Also, would come up why is he using a computer from 1961? <laughs> <laughs> what the crazy? Would you steal that from NASA? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, have you got something I could cover my Commodore 64 with? He says. Oh my god, if I saw this guy in a bench, I, and I'm not prone to violence, I would beat the living shit out of him. That I can tell you. You wouldn't be just, able to reach him though. Just on principle, I would kick the shit out of this guy. Oh my god. Also, why does it have to be a tube that covers the entirety of his head? Sunlight. It's privacy. Oh my He's god. He's looking at porn and you know. Here's the thing. This same <laughs> dildo. Need a walking sleeping bag though with your hands inside. This same guy, you know, uh. is posting pics to Facebook <laughs> and using the public setting, right? <laughs> so maybe you're missing something. I, I, I don't know. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm <coughs> alive. I know. Also, why is there a little hole for the mouth? <laughs> So you can cry for help? Is that what it is? I'm, I'm trapped in my hoodie! <laughs> Hold on, let me just Wait. update my Twitter. <laughs> <coughs> Idiots! Oh, <laughs> uh, and you know they sold a million of these. I'm sure they did. Oh, I'm sure they did. Because there's a grandma in Florida right now going, Well, you know, Timmy likes the computer. <laughs> we bought him a nice privacy scar! <laughs> what, what is this, grandma? It's a computer hood. Oh, that sounds ridiculous. No, not yet. Fasten the other side of your face. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. I'll never use this. <laughs> but it'll keep the dust off the screen. Look. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like when my dad comes back from a cruise and he goes, I got you something. I go, what? It's a tone low cassette. <laughs> <laughs> Where the Christ did you get a tone low cassette on the cruise? And if you got it on the cruise, that guy's got updated stock. <laughs> it's, it's 2015. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, my God. All right, moving on. We got something for the ladies here. At, oh, I'm so angry. Uh, a, little, a little help in the cosmetic department. Uh, ah! A lipstick stencil. Yeah. Because if you want to look you like... know where your lips If are. you want to look like Mike Myers, this is the way to do it. Wow. Okay. Here's again... Look at how cheap this oh, is. Oh, Jesus. This probably costs less than a cent to make. Oh, my God. Here's... I, you know what? I'm going to pretend I'm surprised this came from Japan. Hold on. What? Because <laughs> they rarely make weird stuff. <laughs> also, have you seen their cartoons? Honestly, you're going to tell you you're going to have an argument? No, you're going to lose. I'll tell you that right now. No one I know makes cartoons and goes, we need more tentacle. I don't know anybody who does that. And forgive the really bad impression, but my point is it's still true. Also, if your hand-to-eye coordination is that bad... That you're doing this? <laughs> well, this is uh, this is the thing. Uh, you know, I'm getting so close. <laughs> you should know where your lips are. I would think. And and if you're if if oh. if for no other reason than to apologize <laughs> for using this. <laughs> True that. That's a great way to end. Wow. Okay. Uh, she doesn't look happy at all. By the way, she's like, this is the worst acting gig I've ever had. <laughs> Yeah, I auditioned for this and I didn't get it, so I'm a little upset about it. And of course, if you know, once you're finished using that, your husband can also use it if he wants to turn his thing into a superhero. <laughs> no, 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 see that? Oh, that's not where I saw that happen at all. Um, that's not where that's I thought what you the were one going. on the bottom for. There's actually two of them. That's, I thought it was like a that's... mask. <laughs> no. I've seen the mask, okay, and it's not this. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, here's a, here's a here's a, a sham wild <coughs> product for you. Uh, all right. Diet water. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just, you know, um, and I'm sh I'm sure people have asked for this in restaurants because you know you know well, the regular water is so fat. And again, <laughs> Sapporo, Japanese company. Yeah, yeah. Right. This reminds me of the asparagus water that Whole Foods were trying to hawk. You remember that stuff? <laughs> I don't. It was basically water with some asparagus stalks <laughs> stuck in, it, and, and it people freaked, it. and they were like, "We better pull it," <laughs> right? Because on, only Why? so much. What's fascinating to me about that is where you draw on the line of stupidity. <laughs> like asparagus water, that's dumb. Diet water sounds genius. <laughs> well, you know how, how, Diet how fat water. regular water is. Like it's filled with. I, again, to water. me, what's fascinating <laughs> is that there's people sitting around a boardroom trying to think of products. Clearly, you have to have money to have this kind, to bring this kind of thing to life, right? So there was a whole process, yeah. right, of like approval oh, yeah. Yeah. of invention, blah, blah, <laughs> and so on and so on, until it actually came to water. 
So uh, to 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 the market. So there were people in a room going, you know, water is super great, <laughs> very life affirming and life giving, but man, fattening, <laughs> so fattening. No, twenty percent sugar and more tap water. Maybe worry yeah. about the coke you're shoveling into your mouth. There, there you like, go. There you go. All right. They nope, make good, good beer though. Have you ever had Sapporo beer? It is good. It's I just good. I haven't. No. Yeah. So I would no. recommend it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, moving on, our second last uh, crazy invention. Man, they're getting a letter from me. I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. Dear Sapporo. Dear Sapporo. What? <laughs> kind regards. Here's my complaint, but please send a case of your diet water. <laughs> That's right. That's so right. You get a case of diet water. You like watching water. movies? Do I? <laughs> now, if you don't have a privacy scarf, but you want to enjoy a good movie, I mean, there's one. always the... The TV hat personal theater. Okay, first of all, Which, TV hat sounds like the name of an 80s synth band. All right? Yeah. Second of all, look at the bill on There's no thing. mouth hole, but he's holding a coffin. <laughs> How's that work? This hat, if you look closely, the bill has to go out to here just to accommodate this. Screen. You're telling me that top part is just the bill. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So and is it a curtain that drops down? It's like a screen, it's his personal theater. I don't, again, yeah. this, I don't... Yeah, this is this is a way to, to you know, if you want to discreetly watch movies. <laughs> I don't crowd understand. Of people, they do. never guess that's what you're doing. I've never watched any show, yeah. ever, where I've been like, I don't want anyone else seeing this. <laughs> Unless, like, it was Morty, right? Or Maury. Is that the dude? Maury oh, Maury Povich? Yeah, yeah. Where someone is not somebody's father every show. <laughs> hey, Maury. Just, yeah. They should switch that. Get the ten guys, and whoever's saying they're not the dad, that other guy is the dad. I'll tell you that right now. All right. As seen on TV hat. That's where you can buy it. Well, As seen on TV hat. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Anyway, so I think we can all agree this is pretty useless. Whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> purple words in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Also, there's three <coughs> wires. Why? <laughs> So well, one I, for each ear, and where's the other one? One to electrocute yourself when, when you realize, realize how stupid yeah, you're. Yeah. See that guy in the red car driving by? Yeah, no. that's a drive-by. I'm tell you that right now. That guy's gonna die. You can tell by the blur. You and know, again, just skim the pool. You know what? This nobody guy... has said. None of us have said this. And Jeff, you and I have seen this a second time. Yeah. I think that's Donald Trump behind that mask. Oh, it does kind of look like him now that you mention it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think wow. that's him. Probably, uh, probably doing some. Some dirt on Hillary. Watching Fox News? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, the last uh, the last <laughs> the last invention. Yeah. This again, this is a novelty item created. But you tell me what you think, Lou. Uh, okay. the D V D rewinder. <laughs> By the way, it's the fastest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We Jeff and I got one and tested it. <laughs> and, swear to God. It was almost quicker than rewinding oh, the VHS tape. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's my favorite. I think there are so many things I want to address here. First of all, a little disclaimer: if you're not aware, you don't need to rewind a DVD. Uh, climb up to the second or third floor and step off because there's something wrong. That is that was super mean. I didn't mean that. But the DVD rewinder. Yeah. It's I, like... I'm, I'm honestly speechless. I'm honestly speechless. Well, you know, this is this is a, a, a gift. Like Jeff, you said you wow. love to have one. It's kind of a conversation piece, right? Yeah. I mean, because nobody yeah, would. So believe. is syphilis, but you don't see me. <laughs> you know what quite I mean? honestly, I'd rather have the syphilis. Seriously, yeah. hey, you know what happened to me? I got scurvy. Really? <laughs> yeah, because this I don't. Because they've obviously here's the thing. Look at the packaging. Yeah. Right? Obviously, a graphic arts team put this together. Which means there's money behind it. Which means they must have sold some. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they have. So there are people at home opening this, putting a DVD in it, and going, "It's rewinding it right now." It, <laughs> it takes like five minutes, but I'm telling you, boy, does it rewind! Wow. Every time I put it back into the player, it starts off at the beginning. I, I would love to know. Avoid honestly. late fees, eh? Avoid late charges. Avoid late fees. Yeah. Avoid late charges. That's yeah. What it says. Also, avoid buying calendars because it's 2018. Because. <laughs> What are you, Amish? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, that looks like way, a good gift. By the way, I opened a blockbuster video uh, on an Amish uh, settlement and did not do well. <laughs> it did not. Burn the witch English! A lot of that kind of stuff. 
Like, we had one movie and it was Witness. <laughs> and they still couldn't watch it. <laughs> so we can figure out how to plug this in without not plugging it in. I think I know what it's about. <laughs> oh, that's too, bad. that's too bad. You would have loved this. This is right up your alley. <laughs> but you know what, Lou? It'd be great to have you back to do... I'd love to be back. ...the season four, and, and we should do another closeout show like this. To me, this is this was... I had a riot, honestly. Honest I, I uh, honest to God. Anytime I get to to shoot the shit with you guys is is always a pleasure for me because it's, you know, as 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 some people may or may not know, when we tend to talk, we tend to skip topics a little bit. Circumlocute. Or, there you go. Oh, and you were going to talk about that. <laughs> oh too. yes, the word circumlocution. Yeah, um, it's a great word. Uh, it's actually I was in a play called Murder in the Cathedral. Uh, T. S. Eliot. It's uh, a great wrote play. It. Uh, yeah, a great play. And based on. Based on, ba oh no, well, Cats, he wrote, uh, he wrote a play based on Cats, which was, what did he write that was based on Cats? Uh, cats is based on a T.S. Eliot work. Is it really? Yeah, I thought Murder in the Cathedral no, was it based is, on, I, and, I, um, and it was the something life of something something, yeah. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah. But Murder in the Cathedral, which he also wrote, yeah. um, there's, uh, there's Messenger, and he or she can actually be played by a man or a woman. In fact, I've been in two productions oh, where one was a woman, one was a man. Anyways. Uh, the messenger says, I come without circumlocution, meaning I'm going to get right to the point. I'm not going to go off on a tangent. Circum, meaning to go around and yeah. locution, speaking. So circumlocution, I come without circumlocution. I'm getting right to the point. Yeah. And when you mentioned it, I remember that I had mine done just after I was born. Yeah, circumlocution. Yeah. I we we I don't do that because Italians don't believe in throwing anything away. <laughs> <laughs> you keep it in a jar. That's right. No, no. When you were seven a, days old, great like, advice. It's like a pencil protector for your penis. <laughs> right? Protect it from the elements. <laughs> That's how it was in the old days. Oh my gosh. Who, who's the barber here? <laughs> is and if you can name what that quote is from, I will send you a record. How about that? How about that? If you can name that quote from what it's, who's the barber here? And should we give a clue, do you think? Sure. No. No, no that's clue? actually good enough. No, I think that line, okay. that line is should clue, be fine. Clue yeah. yeah. So if you manage to, to figure out or guess who that is, I will be happy to supply uh, a Better Living Through Chemistry record. Burn, burn, burn. It's the second album that uh, my band did, or one of my bands did. Yep. And I'm happy to send it out free of charge. How's that? Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm right. That is pretty cool. You know, if we were any kind of a show, we'd actually get you to sing a number for us. <laughs> number! Oh, hi. It were some kind of show. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, we're the boys in the chorus. We hope <laughs> you like the show. We know you're rooting for us, but now we have to go. Fun facts are cool, I like them, because they're fun, and they're facts. Not like a fax machine, but F-A-C-T-S. <laughs> this is why I cut it out <laughs> right after fun facts. By the way, that's how two Italian businessmen uh, argue. Yeah. Fax me. Yeah. <laughs> fax you. Yeah. <laughs>